Hi there guys, my name is Ross Phil. I'm a rig welder with Legion Piper Fabricators from Nisco, Alberta, Canada. Now, we, uh, we have a skill proficiency test at Legion when you show up and uh, when you're a welder applying to uh, work for Legion. Uh, it's one of the ways that we can kind of see how much uh, a potential welder has, what techniques they have, what skill they have, and a whole other sort of variables. Uh, so Jay-Z, I'm not sure why we test him because we already know he can weld, we've known him for years. But like, <laughs> but like, um, so we gave him one anyways, I don't know why, I just just, just uh, razz him I guess. But uh, so he came in here and he did a skill proficiency test, it was fantastic, we didn't even look at it, we had, yeah you got the job. So it's going to be using the Miller XMT uh, 304, the machine that he has, and it's going to be doing a TIG route and TIG all the way out, so Jay-Z, uh, take it away. Check out weldlife.com and shop all welding gear shown in this video. So we have Jay-Z here, he's doing the uh, root pass. And he's walking the cup in there. There's different ways you could hold the TIG torch. Um, you could hold it uh, the style he has, or else you could always hold it um, kind of like it's just like sitting in your palm. So he's using the lay wire technique, and he's sinking the root uh, in through the gap there. So when you look at the root pass, when you look at the weld puddle, there's going to be a nice sharp V's down the middle. There's going to be a nice line down the middle, and that denotes that the root pass is going in, and it's, uh, the root pass is going to be flush or even a sixteenth of gap over. So he's feathered all the starts and stops so that he can continuously weld all the way around the pipe. And he's using a 532 filler metal, so it's going to be a nice and wide uh, root pass really good uni uniformity. From there he'll be doing TIG hot pass, a TIG fill and a TIG cap. We're using 70S-6 TIG wire and he's welding at 157 amps. Essentially when we do this uh, Legion skill proficiency test, essentially we're just watching the welder, uh, the technique they, they use. So we're looking at the, the technique, we're looking at how the welder does these particular kind of welds. Uh, we're gauging uh, skill, uh, potential, uh, maybe ways that we can work with a welder, uh, strengths, weaknesses. And this is actually a, it's a fairly simple uh, weld test in, in theory. But um, if a person is, is used to freehanding, um, we won't, uh, they'll have to learn how to walk the cup, especially for our production purposes. Even on position welding, we'll, we'll be walking the cup here. It's just because walking the cup has a more, much nicer uniformity, it's more robotic, um, more uni uniform, very aesthetically pleasing. So Daisy's just putting the, uh, the first hot pass on. So you get about 175 amps with the 532 fill metal. This is a six inch schedule 40 pipe. So he's doing a really nice walk. He's walking the, the uh, hot pass in there. Just washing the puddle out. Very nice uniformity. He's playing a really nice weld here. And you can see that nice welding helmet, weldlife.com. Nice floral pattern. It's like a moss green color. It's quite attractive. I'm going to take a look at the uh, fill pass here. Oh, sorry, the hot pass. Really nicely washing that puddle outwards. Nice how clean and clear, very crisp uh, the arc shot is. And he's keeping the weld puddle relatively uniform on buildup. Both bevels have the same amount of buildup. It very gently tapers off. So as you can see, Jay's is doing a nice fill pass and he's flushing out the pipe. So Jay-Z is just starting with a nice cap pass now. And these are the uh, two things that we are most uh, particular about at Legion. Uh, the root pass, uh, the technique the root pass was put in using, and uh, the cap pass. So we are looking for welders who can do uh, walk in the cup on root all the way to cap. Uh, we're looking for the, uh, the root pass to be walk the cup. 
and we're looking for the cat bass to be uh, walking the cup. In Alberta, Canada, uh, for many, many years, um, what was most predominant was um, speed of production. Uh, production took control and power over aesthetics and everything else. Uh, when Legion came along, especially on stainless steel, you, you'd see a lot of stainless steel piping that was either done by a, a modified short circuit root pass and a stick filling cap or else a TIG root pass and stick filling cap. And uh, stick welding on alloys is not always a very, it's not a very pretty looking weld, it's not very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, Legion came along and uh, we changed all that so now it's all TIG, TIG all the way out on alloys, uh, stainless steel, even, it, even if it is a 52 inch 688 wall stainless steel piping is TIG all the way out. It's all about aesthetics, but also with aesthetics comes the production. Um, when you start at Legion, it's can be difficult to get up to production with the same with the other welders. Um, once you're here for a short amount of time, it, you will get faster uh, and the aesthetics will come. So as you can see, when you look at the weld here, you'll see a nice um, Nice lines that Jay-Z put in. For one reason is because you can see the weld puddle. Uh, you can see where, because the pipe, the, the deposit metal is flush, so you can kind of see your edges as to where to wash out to for when you're doing a cat pass. But the other reason why is because uh, if you have a line on the pipe there, your weld puddle will hit that line and it will not go over that line. It'll fill it and it will make a very straight straight edge so you end up with a very uniform very straight weld straight edges and it's all because you made a line uh, for that weld puddle to uh, momentarily uh, fill and not go past or beyond it hey there guys now that was a fantastic cat pass and root pass by jay-z here and uh you know i think we're going to be moving on to the next video and it's nice that i have jay-z doing all the welding and i'm just the commentary so <laughs> <laughs> see how I manage to sneak my way out of these kind of things. But uh, if you uh, like what we're doing and all the kind of videos and everything, then uh, please subscribe to uh, um, WeldTube's Instagram and also the YouTube channel. And we're at uh, Legion Pipe Fabricators in uh, Nisqy, Alberta. So thanks for watching.